Hi there. It's a beautiful day in North Carolina. A little bit hot, but beautiful nonetheless. This is Angela, and I'm making a video today that I've been thinking about making for quite a long time. I'm calling it the e-beggars of YouTube, and I don't consider you to be an e-beggar if you have a channel that works so hard and you put out great content and people come and watch your lives or watch your videos because you're interesting. You've built your channel from nothing to quite a few subscribers. You're not an e-beggar. You're a hard worker. You deserve the super chats that people are compelled to give when you go live because you're so interesting and entertaining and you've done hard work and prepared yourself for the live. An e-beggar they're these people that come out of the woodwork. And I was in a chat last week, and there was a guy that came in, and he asked each person if they would come and support his channel and buy him a computer. He actually came to my channel and left me a message and said, I am poor, and I need a computer. Will you give me money for a computer? Well, I'm sorry. My laptop is a Dell 2005. It's not compatible for anything for YouTube. I don't see myself begging for a new computer. You make do with what you have. I do everything on my phone. Then there's people. One lady actually told people when they came in it was a $2 cover fee. Yes, you heard me. <laughs> a $2 cover fee for YouTube for entertainment. I left real quickly from that chat room. And then there's the people with cancer. I'm sorry. I've lost family members to cancer. I've had cancer. You don't use cancer as an excuse to get money. I've heard people say they need money to get their car fixed to go get treatment. I've heard people say that they did not have enough money to pay their copay. That was a cancer scammer that I did get caught up in, which may be why I am a little bit cynical to a certain extent, but there was one gentleman, I went to his chat, the man had a pretty small channel, maybe 400 subscribers. He asked for a thousand dollars to buy a computer piece of equipment that would check which sensors were out on his truck. A thousand dollars. I heard another man said he needed new glasses. His glasses broke. Well, I'm sorry, go to CVS or Walmart and buy the most expensive pair of prescription lens glasses you can afford. You don't beg from strangers. But what bothers me, it's, it's the fact that people seem to think that YouTube is their golden ticket. What did you people do before YouTube when you needed moving expenses or you needed groceries, or you needed a car repair, or a vet bill. I had an unexpected vet bill two weeks ago that was almost $2,000. I didn't come to YouTube. I did ask for prayers. I take that back. I didn't ask for money. But if you are a grown adult human being, and you have an emergency, and you totally don't have one person in your life that's willing to lend you or give you the money. Look in the mirror. Ask yourself, what's wrong with my life? Why do I not have one person willing to help me? Is it because you don't try to help yourself? Is it because you expect a handout? You expect that people owe you something? There are people that feel entitled. I have an entitled family member. He thinks that he is deserving of everything, whether or not he's earned it. So I, I do see that. I get it. But I do not see going on YouTube and begging your small subscriber base to help you with a major expense. I would say that the percentage of people I have met on YouTube with a disability or a disabled child with large medical expenses, they don't have a lot of money to be throwing around. 
And I've also found that these people have huge hearts and they are willing to find the money to help you. And yet you are the equivalent, you e-beggars, of the people you see at the grocery store. They're holding the infant. They ask for money for diapers. I tell them I'll go in the store and buy diapers and bring them back out and formula if you'll just wait. And they say, oh, no, ma'am, I just want cash. And then you sit in your car and you wait a little bit and they drive away in a BMW or a Mercedes with someone driving. To me, that's what an e bag is. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my rant, and bye-bye.